Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of June the 14th up until June the 21st. Okay, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Saggies. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Sagittarius. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any guidance and messages that Sagittarius is here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Sagittarius this week? All Always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And also, if you are interested in watching the extended reading, that's where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about either deeper feelings for you, their next actions and moves and more than go ahead and check out the description box below. The link to the extended is down there. And don't forget to stay till the end of the reading because you will be getting a yes or no answer. So Sagittarius, start thinking about what question you want to ask because you will be receiving a yes or no answer. And don't forget to check out GinaMoon.com and click on shop. I have restocked on all of the jewelry pieces that were out last week and bracelets, crystals, and more. All right, Sagittarius, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow, the judgment. So there is a possible union or a reunion. And if this is no reunion, this is just somebody finally hearing the signal the call to make a change in their lives whether this is you or them some kind of stress or anxiety that maybe you had been feeling okay you had been kind of like you know kind of like feeling like oh what is this stress why am i feeling so stressed you know it's like those moments where you don't even know why you're so stressed yeah exactly you know I, as i say that the three of swords you know but there is some clarity coming in your way now whatever this stress was i do sense that it was shaping your response to certain triggers based on something here that was very painful that you needed to let go of okay but there will there will be excuse me some kind of a tower moment here happening this week so this tower moment is basically going to come across as a little bit chaos and conflict okay but this is all happening for you it's sort of like those moments where you know you have to do something you know you have to say something but you put it off you put it off to the point where the universe steps in and says you know what if you're not going to do it then i'm going to do this for you because i need you to move on with your life okay so this is kind of like reminding you this week this this type of energy of the tower moment again it's going to come across as something very very shocking very unexpected but it's going to come with a gift and a surprise because this is wanting to change your life for the better okay so whatever this is i do sense that you are going to get ready to plan for your future because this is something that has had it's sort of like this is sort of like a burden from the past that it's somebody here had been holding on to some kind of pain that they needed to let go of it's sort of like that energy where you know this pain did not need to last this long but this week the universe is going to step in and they're going to help you it's sort of your guides and angels are going to help you release this pain so that you can bring in a lot of happiness and a lot of joy here with the sun card some of you guys actually might be dealing with i see the sign of leo as well here but let's go ahead and see what this judgment is all about for sagittarius what is going on here wow as i say that the lovers the two of cups my goodness you guys you know, this could possibly be you guys meeting the love of your life or reconnecting with the love of your life or something like that, you know, and this could also be reconnecting with yourself, with the love for yourself. It's sort of like those energies where you experience a lot of stress, a lot of pain in a relationship, in a past relationship that you ended up disconnecting from yourself. And this week, it's kind of like allowing you to reconnect to that energy of your inner being of of that essence of you it's kind of like this is kind of like um it's like that it's that energy of reconnecting with the fabric of who you truly are you know you're going to start peeling the layers that are not yours which pain is not yours you know all of the sacrifices that you made that you maybe kind of like were holding on to kind of like um this old belief system that you know why did this happen why did that happen all of those layers that are not yours you're going to start peeling off all of those layers and reconnecting with the essence of who you truly are and if this is a person then this is basically a kind of like a divinely guided union you know 
with this two of cups twos represent relationship duality balance and some kind of partnership and here with the lovers you guys some kind of a very very a very very um outline decision okay somebody here is about to make some kind of a decision that's going to move this situation in the right direction of love okay of serenity of peace because here with the lovers this is basically you know representing a lot of chemistry in this connection a lot of joy and a lot of like powerful type of um like a powerful kind of like um relationship whether this is a career related whether this is a friend whether this is love related whatever this is a very powerful connection here but somebody here is thinking about the long term okay long term future now now or at least this time around now some of you guys also might be dealing with a gemini does not have to be i also see here at the bottom of the deck the moon card so somebody here is is in very deep contemplation okay so i do sense that whatever it is that you had been kind of like going round and round in circles it's kind of finally bringing you to the energy of kind of like um understanding that this holds a deeper meaning so someone here feels something very very deeply here with this moon card but they may have been denying it it's sort of like you keep denying this really strong emotion that you feel but it's going to surface this week okay and when it surfaces i do sense that this is sort of like going to remind you that it's not really you know um you know like say for example if you start feeling love but you deny it you keep denying it and you keep telling yourself oh no this cannot be love this can't possibly be love right when it comes to vibration you guys it's not what you say to yourself or to the other person that matters it's what your vibration is communicating and this person's vibration okay is communicating a lot of love and a lot of passion so there is somebody here focused in your direction they're focused on you they want to explore you maybe this is very flirtatious energy whoever this person is they want to explore you at a deeper level but somebody here is a little bit guarded okay based on some kind of pain that happened in the past you know there is a little bit of guarded energy maybe kind of like fear is taking over perhaps there's there's kind of like an energy of a past connection that maybe gave you a lot of hot cold signals okay all of this kind of like confusing signals but whoever this person is they want to start a brand new beginning with you whether this is you or them again there's going to be some kind of revelation here with the tower moment some kind of unexpected chaos conflict that's going to lead in the right positive direction it's necessary it had been necessary for you to have this sort of like communication revelation or whatever it is that's happening this week this is necessary it's remember when it happens it's not happening to you so don't get scared it's going to happen for you all right my beautiful sagittarius go ahead and ask your question we're going to get a yes and no answer for you is this a yes or a no for sagittarius is this a yes or a no for sagittarius are you ready sagittarius drum roll drum roll okay that is a definite yes wow the magician so alchemizing your future and here at the bottom of the deck the eight of wands so it's a definite yes okay a lot of communication this is unstoppable energy i i always love to see the eight of wands because this is something that it's sort of like when something was really slow you know and you're like oh my god when is this going to move forward when am i going to get the answer when you know and then all of a sudden bam something happens and this is just unstoppable energy it's energy that just picks up pace and it does not stop okay so whatever the situation is this is kind of like telling you concentrate on yourself concentrate on your own energy because you are going to start manifesting left and right it's sort of like you think about you're you're thinking about a person and then bam that person calls you or you're thinking about you know oh i want to do this i want to do that and then you get like the perfect opportunity to pursue that passion right so this is a definite yes for you this week absolutely beautiful sagittarius let's go ahead and roll the dice for you to see what other divine guidance and angel messages we have here for Sagittarius this week okay so you are getting here the sign of Scorpio and the number two wow this is duality okay this is relationships the number two represents balance and it also represents partnership okay so whatever this is this is kind of like co-creative energy whether you've been wanting to you know somebody here is moving in another direction or maybe look in another direction looking in another direction in order to find your peace in order to find your passion in order to find your answers but this is going to require you to connect with another person or another energy or just kind of like another idea it's two things coming together in order to build one okay so whatever it is that this is talking about only you know but here we have 
have also the sign of Scorpio. So get in tune and in touch with the energies of Scorpio this week. Maybe some of you guys might have Scorpio in your chart, might be dealing with a Scorpio, or, or this is just um, an energy of a reminder. Connect with the energies of Scorpio this week. Scorpio is a very, very magnetic sign. You know, Scorpio doesn't really have to do much in order to get attention. They just vibrate this very alluring type of energy. So this is the type of energy that is telling you get in tune and in touch with your emotions because Scorpio is a water sign, right? It's a very, very intuitive type of energy. Some people call them like the psychics or like the witchy kind of like, you know, the positive witches of the Zodiac. And this is also kind of telling you if you have been experiencing some kind of pain, you know, it's sort of like embrace the energy of Scorpio of like a Phoenix rising from the ashes. So this is absolutely beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and get a mantra message for you guys. One mantra message for my beautiful Sagittarius. What do we have here this week for Sagittarius? Let's see, drum roll. Your mantra message is none other than I will attract great things by being my most authentic self. I mean, literally, these two go hand in hand. The magician and then you attracting anything that you want. That's absolutely beautiful. So repeat that mantra to yourself. That's how mantras work. You have to repeat it so that it really sinks into your subconscious. I will attract great things by being my most authentic self. You don't have to be or pretend to be like anybody else, to be liked, to be accepted, just be none other than yourself, which I feel like for you, Sagittarius, it's not really like a big deal because you guys are very genuine. You guys are the most truthful, honest signs of the entire, um, in, of the entire Zodiac. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, this is what I have for you this week. If you are interested in watching the extended reading, go ahead and click on the description box below. That's basically where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions and more. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified on a weekly basis. I post each and every week. It really helps me and it helps the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform. And don't forget to visit also ginamoon.com. Click on shop as I do have restocked on all of the jewelry pieces that were gone last week. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the extended. Bye-bye. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.